guys welcome back to another video guys it's pretty late which is why i'm dressed like i'm already ready to go to sleep before we get into the video there's three things you're gonna really want to know for every channel out there they all work in a similar way the mystical youtube algorithm so if you guys don't know you're like new to this thing or you're, you just started the channel there's a thing called the youtube algorithm which basically dictates if your video is going to do well or not so number one is going to be the ctr it stands for click through rate what percentage of people that seen the video actually clicked on it number two is avd which stands for average view duration what's the amount of time the average person that watched the video how long did they watch it for and then lastly impressions how many people did youtube push your video to what about you maybe need to download the youtube app you can download the youtube studio app um, basically all that information is going to be in there make sure to download it it's literally a youtuber's best friend you guys need the app if you don't have it you're like messing up 90 percent of the process get the app and if you want to just be defiant you can also use the youtube studio um web page i guess if you can't find it just go to youtube main, like the main page click this the top right and then just go to YouTube Studio and it pops up your latest stuff. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see on screen, these are my YouTube analytics. So there's two type of analytics. There's your channel analytics and there's also analytics for every individual video. So what you wanna look for right here is your click-through rate and how many impressions you got per month. So I actually looked this up on Google. A good click-through rate for a regular channel is between five to 20 percent now you also want to look at your average view duration this antenna with a good ctr is what's gonna make a video blow up when i was first starting off youtube i didn't really understand what i was doing or why things didn't work because you know when i was first starting off i was new so there would be times where i would post a video thinking this is like the best video i've ever made people are gonna love it this is gonna blow up oh my i can't wait and then I'll post it and it would get no views. And I didn't understand why until I realized that I wasn't studying the algorithm correctly. The reason you want your CTR to be good first is because if people don't even click your video, it doesn't even matter how good it is. So as you see, this is one of my best performing videos. So I'm gonna break down why this video did good and how you can replicate this amount of success. So first off, we start off the CTR, as you can see is 6%. So the CTR doesn't stay uh, steady and then it goes up to a whopping 19.7 and it fluctuates over time. As you can see, you know, it doesn't stay consistent, you know, it hovers around seven to 10. So knowing that the CTR is still 6%, I know that YouTube is still pushing this video out to more people and they're still clicking on it. Next, we're gonna look at the AVD average view duration as you can see it's 352 for this video the video is 11 minutes long which is not good but this video is like a year or maybe longer old so back then i wasn't as good at making videos or editing in a cohesive manner so like people probably dropped off a lot earlier lastly when look at the impressions as you can see 210,000 people were showing this video so potentially there's 210,000 people that know how my face looks which is a scary thought if you think about it. Now that you know what you're looking for, you can see why a video isn't performing as well as you think it should. If you realize the CTR is already low, that means before they even watch the video, it's a thumbnail problem. So instead of trying to you know, think about, okay, is, is it the audio, is it the quality? You already know exactly what you're looking for. You're looking at the thumbnail issue. So this will save up a lot of time of you trying to psychoanalyze and really dig deep into what's wrong with the channel. On the flip side, people only watch the video for one minute and it's a 15 minute video. So what this is telling YouTube is, yes, people will click the video, but when they do click it, they don't actually enjoy it. So what's the point of us still pushing this video out? Impressions kind of already work on its own. So the way impressions work is off the CTR and average view duration. If you have a good CTR and a good average view duration, that means YouTube's gonna see that people are clicking your video, which is a good thing, and when they do click it, they're watching it for a decent amount of time, which tells YouTube, okay, people like this topic of video and they also like this guy's video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this as many people as possible. YouTube's gonna keep repeating this process until either people stop watching the video, which is probably unlikely if people already been watching it, or what's more likely is people stop clicking the video. So when YouTube keep pushing this to a wider and wider and wider audience, eventually people that don't really care for the topic are gonna stop clicking it. And that's gonna tell YouTube, okay, this amount, of pe this amount of people like the video, and we're gonna push it to a little bit more, but they're not seeming to like it, so we're gonna stop pushing the video as hard. So the reason you only get like 100 to 200 views is probably because of one, either the CTR or the AVD. Once you get those two things under control, YouTube starts to get a lot easier and a lot more manageable. Once I figured out how that thing actually works and 
you know, how I can manipulate it, I've been able to, over time, you know, increase my CTR and my AVD. And that, in turn, helped YouTube push my channel even more to more people because YouTube's re realizing that my channel is actually sought after. Now for getting better thumbnails, it's gonna depend on the channel because different channels are in different genres of YouTube. So for, you know, lifestyle channels, it might, you know, rely more on either appearance or, you know, your, where you live or stuff like that versus if you're in a gaming channel, it's gonna depend a lot on what game you're playing, is the, is the game popular, do people even care? Look at other people that's doing similar content to you look at their thumbnails and see like the top people and see like what they're doing consistently and don't just copy it's not copying look at what they're doing take what's what's the best things from them and try to improve upon those things when i first started i was heavily influenced by like the people that i watched but now i've, I've been able to like create my own style and just do content the way i want to do it and for your average view duration it all depends on like what kind of videos you want to make if you're not like into like fast paced stuff i'm really not into that you could probably tell like this video is probably like more slow and chill probably got jazz in the back we're just chilling i'm not like you know running around screaming at people i'm just a chill guy if you see everybody else editing fast paced and that's not what you want to do you don't have to do it you know you can try to find other people that's doing slower type of stuff and see if they're doing well and seeing how they're doing it and trying to adapt that style as well yeah, I need more water. My throat is literally explode. Now, I did mention in the beginning that, you know, YouTube does take a bit of luck. Of course, you can increase your chances by following the algorithm and understanding how that entire system works and figuring out how to manipulate it for yourself. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. We're on a road to 10K. You know, 10K is a lot, of, it's a big number. I can't even count the 10K, but you guys can help me get there. If you guys do enjoy this type of video, let me know down in the comments because I do enjoy doing this. Um, I don't do like a lot of YouTube type of help videos. I usually do vlogs and like lifestyle type of content, but this is a nice change from that type of stuff. If there's any confusion, also say it down in the comments below. I'll try my best to explain it because I know YouTube, the algorithm, I try to condense it, but this is like four years of experience into the making. So, you know, <sighs> hopefully I did my best. We'll see. We'll see in the comments. Hopefully people are like, Todd, this shit makes no fucking sense, bro. Like, what are you even saying? What's the CTA? I don't understand. So let me know in the comments, but love you guys. Peace. See you later. I'm out.